love it. This is my hairdresser. Hi, Hi. Amalia. Hello. <laughs> you can do the talking. I, I can do the talking. Okay. Yeah, I'm the hairdresser. And today we're gonna do um, Matilda's bangs. When people ask me what I think about when I cut my bangs or what I ask for, nowadays I don't ask for anything because this genius just knows how to do it. But in the beginning, I came with photos, right? Photos is the best best way to like show the hairdresser the way you want the haircut or like with the bangs. When I get uh, new customers, a lot of customers actually show a picture of Matilda. <laughs> uh, so it's not really that hard. It's not like a hard way to cut a bangs. But I, I see that many hairdressers do it in like maybe they think it's too simple. Yeah, so they try to like yeah. make it harder. And I think uh, as long as you know how much you need to cut, it's easy. I'm gonna show you. Yeah, and I think you know like showing photos is much easier than like trying to explain because a lot of people want mm -hmm. me to be like, how would you explain your hair cutter bangs? But I just think it can like get lost in translation if yeah. you like. Because I know a lot of times when I come to you and I'm like, so I want this kind of cute yeah. haircut and you're like, I don't really know what you're talking about. <laughs> and some people say, I, I want the volume and bigger, <laughs> but I don't want layers. I want everything yeah. long and like uh, cut in the same, uh, same length. It's going to be like, it's gonna be that's like impossible. Heavy. Yeah. yeah. So, so we're going to get this party started. Yes. We're going to start with sectioning the hair, at least. And I always ask my cus uh, customers or the clients if they have a special partner. Yeah, like how do you part it? Yeah. yeah, I don't know what you say. Some people have it more to the side, but usually I, I don't want to use any kind of like... You just comb everything in front. You don't, you don't have to like be like, this is too much, it doesn't matter, because it all depends on how you dry it. Because when you dry it, you're not supposed to get it like in this shape. This is how... Sometimes when the hair dries on its own, if you don't comb it forward when it's wet, yeah. it's gonna end up drying like this with yeah. the... Um, swirls. <laughs> yes, yeah, swirls. I, I forgot the name. I know we looked it up last time. <laughs> so that's why we comb it forward. Yeah. And now we're gonna make it wet. And we're gonna dry it. And I'm gonna show how to dry it. It's called a wrap dry. So you dry from one side to the other side until it's dry. And this is good because I like tried to show this in a video yeah. before and yeah. told that my hairdresser is But I've seen your video and you do it perfectly. Oh. So it's, it's a really easy way. But as, uh, sometimes I think everything with hair, a lot of people like tries to overdo it. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do a wrap dry. So it's nothing, uh, nothing difficult or complicated. It's just drying from one side to the other until it's completely dry. And when it's completely dry, like this, you use the cold air on the hair dryer to set the shape. The cold air is not for um, giving the hair less heat, just to save it from breakage. Oh it's god. actually used for uh, setting a shape. Oh my god, my hair looks so greasy, sorry. No, it's not. Nice. Let's get it wet. So now we're just getting the bangs wet. And we usually <laughs> like spray, spray it, but we don't have that. Because we're doing it at home. Yeah. <laughs> this is not only my bangs, but no, this is more <laughs> a lot of hair. <laughs> the bangs is like here. If the hair is dry before, the important part is really to get like the the parts of the hair that gets these curls or the funny shape. The important stuff is to get that part wet. The ends is not as important. First, I'm gonna dry with just with the hands, not with the brush. The um, wrap dry looks like. So we just basically wrapped dry. Wrap <laughs> dry the shit out of these bangs. <laughs> yeah, and then you, the thing you get out from uh, drying the hair like that is that you don't get the hair dry like that. Yeah. More like in front of the forehead. Yeah. Right? yeah. Um, Which is like what I've tried to tell you guys. Yeah. Because and then you get you get this shape natural. Yeah. We haven't used any like a round brush no. or um, a flat iron or anything. We just tried it, and then you get this natural. And I kind of feel like that's the only advice because I normally I always let my bangs air dry. Yeah. And 
I don't really, because I don't usually like blow dry it, I don't have like a good advice on how to make it look cute when you blow dry it, except blow drying it like this. Mm. And the same thing if you don't use an uh, air dryer and you're gonna, like if you're gonna leave it to, yeah, to air dry, yeah. like you do, then you could always like comb it like this in the front. Yeah. And keep it wet. Yeah. And like, you're gonna look a bit crazy, but when you're just walking around at home, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. So imagine that the hair is wet like this. And you maybe just put it behind the air, so if, it, if yeah. it's long enough. Now, so th that's the case if you're not going to use a hair dryer. Yeah. A blow dry. Air dryer. <laughs> blow dry. Whatever. Yeah, uh, you just, just put, put it like that. But yeah. now we did the wrap dry, so whatever. This is the shape. And then I just like kind of do like this to see where the, where it likes to fall. Some people have this um, swirl. Yeah. I forget what it's called. But sometimes the hair is easier to have a little bit more to the side. And then, then I feel like don't fight it too much if the hair wants to be a little bit more to the side and not completely <laughs> in the middle. Vortex! Yeah, Vortex! No, is it? They come to see. Yeah, you can. Vortex, yeah, I think it's a Vortex. <laughs> <laughs> so, what we're gonna do now is to make it into sections. Yeah. The thing that I see most on other clients that has got their bangs cut at other places is that the bangs is really short it's like this part is like cut just like straight off because if you have it too short when you put it up like this you're gonna get this part here and that's that pretty so you want more hair kind of like this big sections to start with it's like maybe one or two centimeters from the ear because then we're going to add a little bit more, maybe, it depends, but you're going to cut the bangs into the rest of the hair later. So that's what you're going to start with on both sides. So when you have one side done, you could just follow that part up here and get the same on the other side. So what we're going to do today, we're not going to cut it too short this time, right? Yeah, I kind of no. like it this length, that's like, when I have it this length, I can kind of play around with it, like I can push it back, I can have it like big on the side like I like. Sometimes when I cut it too short, it just, you can only literally have it in your face. Yeah. Which is a little annoying sometimes. <laughs> so, um, I, I like this length. It's like the perfect length for me. Yeah, it's really good. The thing is now, uh, so that we talked thick. about before, it's a little bit too thick, yeah. It's because it's been cut shorter and now it's been growing out. Yeah. So the part here is a little bit like a, I call it like a loaf of bread, because it's, <laughs> It's what it looks like in there. It's like heavy here. Yeah. And you don't want that kind of heavy, sad look. So we're going to make it softer, a little bit shorter just on the edge, like there. Yeah. And then softer so you get the, the swoosh. And I guess while we're cutting it, we could discuss the bangs. The bangs. Because I get so many people messaging me and... I mean, I, I sometimes I feel like I always give really boring answers because I do... Like, my bangs fall the way they do naturally. Yeah. So I kind of, my question is, it must depend on like what type of hair you have, right? Like, all types of hair maybe doesn't look good with bangs. Or like, maybe it doesn't really work. No, actually, it works with a lot of types. But the problem really is that a lot of people doesn't like to work with the hair. Yeah. So in your case, it's really easy for you because yeah. it's... It's kind of the perfect shape for your kind of or type of hair. Yeah. Some people that I made the bangs for as well, it's the, it suits them really, but it gives them too much work. So after a while they feel like growing it out because it's it's too too like it's not low maintenance for them. So in that case it's not for everyone. So you really have to yeah. yeah. So if you have too many vortex yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's not a good idea for you. Okay, so if someone has like maybe thinner hair and they want to get bangs, yeah, like are there any good products that you recommend for them to like make their bangs look like fuller or like you know swoosh better? I think I think with the thinner hair, if it's uh, yeah, especially like the Scandinavian hairs or the hair that that is really thin, like yeah. the hair strand is really thin. Uh, it's, it's possible to get the bangs, but then it's really important that you get the thicker ones. Yeah. If you start more higher up here, and then you could keep it more in that angle, so you don't take too much off from the side. 
Because if it's thin hair, then it's gonna everything's gonna end up looking like a bag. So it's, then it's gonna get like less yeah. hair. So keep it more like in that shape or in that angle than in like in Matilda's case is this angle. I don't know if it makes sense, but yeah. it's still possible on the thin hair. Because sometimes I have a lot of customers with thin hair or like they have a, a, not too many, much hair on the side. Yeah. Uh, then I think sometimes a bangs is the perfect perfect choice yeah. because it makes the hair looks a bit fuller and product wise it's always good to use some kind of hairspray that's not too heavy so the first thing I do here is like to part the bangs in two I'm not too picky to make the um, sections too like straight or perfect I'm more about the movement Mm. So the thing when you cut it, I know we talked about this before. Yeah, I think we did it in the live. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think anyone watched that live. Oh yeah, people but... have watched it. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't remember it. But the thing is when you cut it, it's that you have the movement in the hand mm -hmm. and in the scissor. I use a scissor. It's not like the regular scissor. That's kind of important as well. I never talked about the scissor. Yeah. But I have a scissor that it doesn't like, you don't cut with it. You're more like... Kind of like a knife. It's kind of like a knife, like sure. but you're like sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you sure. Yeah, I'm gonna show. So it's it's a a soft movement just to make the ends look a bit softer. It's like no hard edge. So you just decide how short it's gonna be. Sometimes you start with longer, then make it shorter. But now it's just gonna take a little bit from the end. Kind of start like that, and then you make it kind of straight down. And then you could always look how the hair falls. And this is different from client to client. So a little bit more of the corner. And if we would make the bangs shorter, we would start higher up and we would also make it wider. Like when I cut, I would cut from maybe from here and towards the ear a little bit more but now we're going to make a longer one so then we're going to make it more in this angle yeah i'm going to take this section and just mix them and do the same thing again so now you see the shape here we don't want it shorter up here in front we just want it a little bit softer not too heavy and a little bit more here we're gonna make this a bit thinner and more like flowy. So I use the scissor again and I put it inside here. <laughs> put it inside like that. And just make like so. Does it hurt? No. Nope. So tiny movements just to make yeah, it's like make it more airy. Really. Yeah. It's not to make it shorter and it's not a loaf of bread, it's more no. like a croissant. Yeah, we like the croissant. <laughs> so now you kind of can see how you get the shape and the swoosh. And this is not even, like we didn't even shape it in any way yeah. other than the cut. Hi, Rik. Hi, Rik. This is your turn next. Yeah, Amalia. Yeah. Do you want to cut your fur? Maverick stole the attention. So what we're gonna do now is just to like cut it together with the hair. So it doesn't get heavy here. So you take the top layer, like that. Twist mm -hmm. it over. Yeah, like cut this part together with this part. I don't know what it's called. And then I usually like just Put it up like a ponytail and then do like this because then you're gonna see if you exceed it or not. And then I ask Matilda to do the cute face. <laughs> yeah, and then you don't have that corner without hair. And even if you put it behind the ear, you still have some. How does it feel? So pretty, feels perfect. Yeah. Mm. So I guess that's it. Easy.
so we're done for today um i hope you guys like this video and you know i hope it was educating and enriching for all of you and i hope it answered all of your questions about my bangs if not you know comment below and i'll try to get back to you um no i will get back to you and me and maverick are gonna um, cuddle now and we're gonna make pizza i love you guys <laughs>